for example, they have a chance to see the most like Arabic Gulf countries because they are uh, safe, and there's a chance to have make sure or to go for touristic direction it to, to right. be. But in general, it's totally different from what you have in your imagine imagination about uh, the old Arabic style, because it's it's a new all of all the most of the US countries are like new countries, not that very very old tradition like as some countries that on that level think. I agree although as I as I say I, I had no uh, previous experience because I've never been I just kind of knew it from from history from the aesthetics a little bit a little bit from the music um, a little bit from religion but very very shallow so kind of being there uh, it, it gave me more information of course and you know it's a cultural shock like everything even going in Europe from one country to another just like what sometimes you know you don't get the customs and the language and uh, what people eat so it's always you know knowledge and, uh, and exchange so yeah. so we will make some typical things also for example give one sentence for that <laughs> <laughs> give the mic to the owner okay rock and roll should i repeat rock and roll or no like, what's the you, question? Should, you should describe or say your impression in one word for example or wait one sentence it's okay just one one sentence, no problem. I like you. This is the will be a You're problem. really, you know, <laughs> you're really specific. God damn, you're like a manager. You have That's only three minutes to do this or that. And <laughs> then you go. Um, man, one word. Rock and roll. I'm just gonna repeat rock. You know, like everything is included in that, so. Okay. If that's my only choice, I, I choose this word, so. Poland. What about Poland? Describe it in, what's your impression, one word. Place of birth. Okay, just? <laughs> well, you said I cannot use more words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, electric guitar. Fun. Uh, dance. More fun. Donut. <laughs> <laughs> Very humble host. <laughs> Even bigger humble host because it's a huge place to perform in. Lie. Because you are working with the light. So I'm asking for them. Don't go into the light, that's what they say. <laughs> Cash. <laughs> Lack of in my wallet. <laughs> so I think that's enough. You want to <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a good one. <laughs> you just go automatic, right? Like Automatic theater. Yeah, why not? Okay. You guys want to swap or? Or subscribe swap in one one word. <laughs> or before we, we, we can audience, audience. Or before um, we go into our next part, our, why our not I try a small tune for you, which is gonna be a number two music tune. Yeah. Let's try this. Who's this? Who's this guy is in the door? 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 Nope. No, it's open. Come on in, man. Come on in. Come on Hello. in. Here. On the stage. Right in time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <okay. laughs> you not everyone can be on stage. Uh-uh. Uh, it's my stage. No? I'm oh, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to do a tune. Okay. At least I'll try. You can guys be on. You can be off as you as you like. Okay. So, so we finished this. I think so. Yeah, for now. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Nice yeah. talking to you. Uh, super, super. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Hello. Hey. Wanna stay? Wanna go? I don't know. Can <laughs> I try to sauce it out. What's going uh, on? Like a live performance? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's something like that, and we have fun also. So. Yeah, yeah.
you are too kind, my friends. Alrighty, uh, let me just tell you a little bit um, about this tune. <laughs> Welcome. You guys stepped into a weird evening that is called 33 Minutes with myself, the stage talk. <laughs> so we don't really kind of play um, music. We talk about music, we talk about what I do, and uh, hi, I'm Anna. If you don't know me, you will at the end of the evening. <laughs> But um, yeah, uh, this small thing that I was trying for the very first time on this guitar as well, because I play with an electric that's a little bit more fun, that's a little bit more easier, because this is a freaking electric guitar made of a, out of an acoustic. So everything is bigger, everything is wider, and in the sense of technique, it's really, you know, you can feel the fingers. So anyways, uh, what I just tried to play for you guys and is way, Fan more fantastic as an original uh, is actually a song called You and I. If anyone knows who uh, Mr. Joan Corabi is, um, he's the ex-vocalist, among others, of Union, um, Scream, Motley Crue, a little bit more hard rock. And uh, recently he's doing an, uh, actually an acoustic set as well. So this was my, my small info on that for you guys. He is playing in Europe at this moment. He's been to Poland, he's been to Wrocław, actually. Um, funny enough, and uh, he did great show. So if you have a chance to check out his music and check out his lyrics and writing, it's really fantastic. So uh, this was without any singing, but uh, for next time, if you come on Wednesday and someone knows the stuff, sing along. Yeah, it's gonna be way more fun. Alrighty, um, part two for you guys, uh, right on time. Let me just quickly say what we just did. We did a small interview. Um, with myself, done by Umar and our humble host, uh, our Pieśniarze owner, Donut. <laughs> and um, pretty much this, this kind of talk, um, to explain a little bit um, what the long story short is, um, the stage talk is about art in general, about a mixture of theater, about a mixture of dance, of music, which is pretty much a fusion and a hybrid, what I do on a daily level. Um, Artistically, it's called rock dance theater, which is exactly a fusion of that. And uh, initially, it became a kind of a broadcast to interview all kinds of artists and people that have been involved with myself as well, and um, that we worked with. And also, if n they haven't written a book, or if no one actually wrote a book about them, I wanted to make sure to document their work so that people know what, who they are. And um, this is actually the third, no, fourth, scratch that, my God, I should, I should do my math class again. Fourth episode, and number two, that is done live with an audience. We haven't done this before, I haven't done this before, last week, but that doesn't count, but out of that, it's a series, so it's completely new. But um, yeah, uh, last week, if someone missed it, shame on you, you just kind of missed it. But uh, we did a little bit of fusion dance, we did a little bit of music, we did a, a little bit of talking, which is what I'm famous for. <laughs> on Wednesdays. So uh, if you guys have any questions, who the hell is that person? Okay, this we established, we know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so question number two, if you do have one, please shout it out. I will try to answer. I know that Umar is looking at me um, from the audience. We have a friend visitor tonight, which is very cool. He has a, a question that he wants to throw my way because we didn't finish. So why not invite Umar over? I have two free seats and I'm more than willing to share. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. Come, mm. On can, Come on can over. Come on over. In the meantime, um, Umar is a, is a Wrocław good friend of mine that actually uh, has seen me perform a little bit um, on a big stage. He's seen some of my workshops uh, because not only in rock dance theater, we have live shows included, but also I teach. I teach young guys and youth um, basically to grab a guitar or go to the dance studio and do something. Do you guys have kids? No, no not yet. Or maybe. Um, do you have kids? No. Me too. Do I have kids? Not that I know of. Do you have kids? Don't <laughs> All right. Don't okay, basically, <laughs> the educational message that I want um, people to take from what I do or what I talk about rather is people, action. <laughs> Which means leave the TV, 
um, leave the cell phone. We might be recording this live, but it's just because it's how professional we are. Um, basically, yeah, just look into people's eyes, talk to each other, sit next to each other, grab a coffee, grab a beer, whatever, past 18, hopefully. And uh, yeah, just like live your life because these times are pretty crazy. And I was telling um, everyone, sorry for repeating myself, but for you guys, sorry. Um, but I got kind of sad today looking at what is happening in the news, you know, with the weather, with the environment, with how people treat each other, with the wars. It's like, you know, everything has gone so crazy that you just want to kind of take out a gun and shoot. And people actually do that daily, you know. So, uh, and we lose friends right and left so it only proves like living in the moment in action which is my profession i'm more than lucky to actually do what i do daily practically you know um like tonight for you guys even if it's just about a little bit of talking a little bit about music a little bit about dance you know it's still it's the real life the other side is just is just weird i just i don't get it and i'm a young generation I was raised in California, you know, I remember the times of paper and pen and uh, no internet. <laughs> Ooh, imagine having no internet right now. It would be quite hard, right? But yeah, it has been there and, you know, people communicated. And do you know how we blocked Facebook friends? We took the phone and we just unhooked it and we put it next to the phone, right? The one you dial, kind of thing. Yeah, easy thing to do. So that's what happened in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So, yeah. Anyway, enough about my ranter. <laughs> let's uh, let's talk, shall we? Okay. Or Umar wants to sing. That's as loud as well. No, I, <laughs> I kind of played this, this instrument. We love unplanned evenings, and this is exactly one of them. To be honest, this was not rehearsed nor staged. You are witnessing a live improv as we speak, and uh, Umar just happens to know me, and I know him, and he's here tonight. So how cool. Maybe you can try to play something, and they will play this, uh, this instrument. What do you think? Try being the operative word here. <laughs> What do you think? I'm game if you are. Because as we are trying today, I miss this instrument and I can't hear the Plugged or unplugged? I think it's nicer kind of to hear the live instrument. I'll play something like that. So. <laughs> I thought we were actually doing this. <laughs> no, it's not, I'm not playing. Just because sorry. I was listening, like, wait, does this work? No, it doesn't. It's like, how do you? And in my brain already, this is like constant composition. Because um, you know, basically, out of my profession, basically out of my main profession, I'm a choreographer, which, which means uh, creating and constructing directly is a part of what I do daily. So exactly in this kind of situation, what just happened with Umar, um, my brain goes like on speed 50 and I go like, okay, he does this Arabic thing and it has a beat. I'm trying to see what the beat is and I'm thinking, what the hell am I supposed to do that? <laughs> you know, not being from that kind of background and area. And you know, sometimes it works and you just throw yourself into it as we did now. Um, it either works, yay or nay, you know, you be the judge. So yeah, that's the, the fun thing about it. Um, but yeah, hmm. <laughs> you're, you're tempting me to do one more thing. I don't know if all of the guys involved here is gonna be uh, appreciative of this, but who cares, I'm the boss, right? The stage is mine, at least for how long? 10 more minutes, 15, 70? I gotta be 70 minutes on stage because I have a bus to catch and then an airport to hit as well. So, oh, no. we are over. <laughs> we are over time, I'm sorry. Gotta go now. No, let's try this. If 
anyone knows this? Maybe a little? non-professional and professional business, good enough for rock and roll, you know. Um, Ryan, Roxy, and Alice Cooper probably say, you know, good try, but, uh, you know, see you in 20 years. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this tune, uh, if anyone is interested and doesn't know it, is called 18, which is one of the like classic solid rock songs um, about growing up, pretty much. So play it for your kids, play it for your friends. Uh, hopefully you're gonna get hooked like I am. But uh, yeah, long story short about my whole like fascination about guitar, I gotta say being 30 years in the business, which I am now and longer, as a choreographer working in dance theater, doing all kinds of performance related stuff, uh, I gotta say I've always worked with music and always there was many links connected to that, but one link that was missing. <laughs> was something live in the form of an instrument. So pretty much three years ago, uh, I've said this story, you know, last week, but I like to say it, it's a cool one. Uh, three years ago, kind of my life changed and it was a little bit side effect of my insomnia, that is kind of natural. Um, lying in bed one night, playing over and over some stuff to kind of calm down after rehearsal, calm down after a show, and then I come across uh, a 1978 or three, I don't know right now, song of Aerosmith. Steven Tyler playing Dream On, singing Dream On, Joe Perry on the guitar, and I'm like, wait, I know this, but I haven't seen this one yet. So we kind of hit play, and I've been playing it over and over till 7 a.m. If anyone knows what not sleeping is, it hurts. <laughs> but at this point, the next morning, I literally went like, wait, guitar, I need to learn to play. The rest is history. Um, Rock Dance Theater came later and then it kind of clicked. Everything was there. Basically, uh, what we're trying to do here, we incorporated, I say we in the second person because I'm either schizophrenic or it's just a habit. Um, but we, in the sense, me and guitar, me and live musicians doing a kind of a fusion that is a different kind of language. If you are interested 
And I'm gonna be a super hypocrite right now before we all say goodbye and go. Um, take out your phones. <laughs> we all have them, I know you do. Back pocket, wallet, bag. Come on guys, you have phones as well, I know you do. <laughs> take out your phones and be so kind if you enjoyed any part of this evening. I hope you did, I had fun. Take out uh, your phone and just look up Rock Dance Theater, click subscribe and like, and I will see you on the other side of the rainbow, thanks to that. So basically, uh, thank you so much guys for coming. This in the wrap, in a nutshell, is episode two of the 33 Minute Talk with Anna, and stay tuned for more if you're interested. We will be online and we will be live here as well. So uh, until I see you next time, good evening and good night. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.